In this video, we uh, derive some standard uh, integration formulas involving exponential and trigonometric functions. Um, so we just note that uh, uh, for you to be uh, good uh, at integration, uh, you need uh, your knowledge and skill of differentiation uh, to be up to speed. So here we're going to start with uh, some uh, uh, differential formulas and then uh, from those formulas we are going to uh, derive the integration formulas. So let's start with uh, the uh, derivative of a to the power x where a is a constant you're going to recall that this is equal to a e to the power a x uh, and then the derivative of sine of a x is a cosine of a x the derivative of uh, cosine of a x is the negative uh, of a times sine a x and then lastly for uh, now the derivative of tangent a x is a times the second squared of a of a x so the thing you're going to notice is that in all cases we are multiplying by a uh, the reason for that is because a is the derivative of a x in each case so by the chain rule we first differentiate this we get cosine and then we multiply by the derivative of this in this case derivative of cosine is negative sine in this case derivative of tangent is a uh, secant squared so um, from these we are going to derive uh, the corresponding formulas for integrating e to the x cosine uh, sine and uh, secant because uh, this this way so we go this way it's differentiation so for integration means we're going to integrate cosine and we're going to get sine going to get uh, integrate this and get this so I'm going to integrate that and uh, get tangent so let's start with uh, the first one okay so when we uh, differentiate e to the a x we multiply by a uh, so you're going to remember that derivative of e is e so again here it's going to come back exactly as it is this time we are going to divide by a because we are integrating then from the second one the integral of cosine ax integral of cosine ax is going to be sine ax but then this time we're going to divide by a and then the integral of uh, sine a x dx is going to be negative 1 over a cosine a x plus c then lastly the integral of secant squared a x dx is going to be the uh, it's going to be 1 over a times tangent a x plus c these are such that when you differentiate the left hand right hand side you must get the term inside the integral on the left hand side so let's uh, do the first one for instance uh, if we were to differentiate this um, then we would uh, have 1 over a e to the a x and then times a and then of course derivative of cosine is 0 um, of c is 0 
So this cancels out and then we just have uh, e to the a x. So for each one of them, um, such that uh, the derivative of this is equal to that. So this is now adding uh, a few more formulas uh, uh, on top of the one we derived earlier in uh, the video entitled uh, integrating powers of x. So in that one we uh, show, uh, showed that uh, the integral of x to the power m is uh, x to the power m plus 1 divided by m plus 1 whenever m is not equal to negative 1. This is equal to lean x plus c when m is equal to negative 1. All right, so with these now, let's uh, have a go at uh, a few examples. All right, so suppose we've got these examples here. In A, we have got uh, the integral of cosine 2x dx. So the integral of cosine is going to be sine. Uh, then we're going to have to divide by a. In this case, a is 2. And then this thing is such that when you differentiate this, you get cosine 2x. Uh, in B, we have got uh, the integral of sine of 0.5x dx. Um, this time, <clears throat> the integral of sine is negative cosine 0.5x. Then we're going to divide by 0.5. So this is going to be negative 2 times cosine 0.5x plus c. Um, so again, this is such that uh, uh, if we decided to differentiate this, just want to demonstrate, then we are going to get, um, so the negative 2 is here, derivative of uh, cosine is negative sine then a derivative of this is 0 0.5 so we're going to multiply by 0 0.5 derivative of c is 0 uh, then the two negatives work out to a positive 0 0.5 times 2 is 1 so this is just sine 0 0.5 x which is what we started with then in C, we have got uh, the integral of e to the minus 2x, e to the minus 2x dx. So this is just going to bring back e to the minus 2x. And then we're going to divide by uh, what is a according to uh, our formulation here. Okay. Um, and then for the last one, d, we have got the integral of secant squared of 2x. The integral of secant squared is tangent. So that's going to be tangent 2x. Then the derivative of this is 2. So we've got to multiply, sorry, divide by that. So that is going to be the integral of that okay okay well we're now going to give you a moment to have a go at uh, e f and g so if you just want to pause the video and then uh, work through this when you continue the video then you can compare with our answers all right uh, we're now going to scroll down to um, our answers for e f and g uh, we do encourage you if you have got questions on any steps uh, that we have, uh, you know, taken in any of our work uh, to post your comments. Um, please do, of course, uh, subscribe and uh, like the video. Thank you. Right. Um, so in E, our A is uh, 
negative 0 0.02 so we divide by negative 0 0.2 so uh, the integral of e comes back exactly as it is and then reciprocal of negative 0.2 is 5 uh, in uh, f Derive integral of sine is negative sine, sorry, negative cosine. Then we divide by a third, so it's the same as multiplying by 3. This one is disguised. If we bring it up, it becomes secant squared. Uh, and then this is a standard integral. Integral of secant is tangent, then we divide by 0.4. Which is the derivative of this and so that is going to be our final answer thank you for watching hopefully it has been useful